Today I've come to Mount Nemo Conservation Area in the hopes of trying out a new lens that I bought specifically for woodland photography. Uh, and also I'm hoping to, uh, to photograph some trilliums, which are a small white flower that uh, grows in this area in the springtime. It might be a little too early, but uh, I'm gonna look around and see what I can find. So I've come across this rather interesting path um, sort of a little bit of a hill, maybe a 20 foot rise, but uh, right at the top of it, as it goes over this hill, um, it's just roots and rocks. And so it provides a very contrasty element. There's a couple of trees that I can use to sort of frame the scene. Mostly I'm here to test this lens out. So I'm excited just to photograph anything. So just at the top of this rise, off in the corner of my eye, I spotted this area that was just so much greener than everything else. Very bright green. So this area here, this little hill with moss, I don't know what's under there, um, but something is causing this moss to just grow extremely green. And uh, it's got, you know, little leaves. I think these might be the early trilliums or other wildflowers growing very early. It'd be really nice if there was some flowers on top of this, but I think I can get a nice shot with the, uh, with the background defocused and um, just showing off this moss and the, the leaves that are growing on top of it. So there really isn't much in the way of subjects in this particular scene. Um, what I'm trying to do is show off the colors and uh, show off how bright this green is going to be. I will uh, come in here and dodge and burn some of these things, but I really wish there was a nice flower, some kind of color contrast in this. Well, this thing here that I've come across should make for a very interesting scene, but uh, I don't know how I'm going to capture it. And it's, uh, it's so beautiful, but so tight to get into this area. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Coming across the scene here, there's this uh, crag, this crack in the rock here. And uh, inside are some, what I like to call hangers on, right? Some things that maybe shouldn't be able to grow here, but they've made it work. So there's a couple of trees here. Uh, right in the middle at the back and in the right light they uh, they just catch a little bit of sun ray and uh, really gives quite a nice contrast but I've got some uh, some leaves here in the foreground so I think I've got to like get low and sort of get the, the angle uh, just right but if I do that I've got this like not so nice looking um, outcrop here with just some gray leaves on it and uh, anyways I, I may end up just climbing down into this thing and figuring out how to make it work but I'm not sure what I'll find down there. What I may end up wanting here is my 16 to 35 millimeter. Um, this is a, quite a wide scene, and if I can get it, if I can capture it, it should look very beautiful. And I do have this new lens. It goes all the way up to 20 millimeters. Actually, it's the new Sony 20 to 70, which is such a broad range. And I think 24, anything smaller than 24, at least I would consider that to be ultra wide, very wide, right? So we can see if this 20 millimeter end of this thing can uh, can pull this to scene together, but. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to work or not. One of the things that's vitally important when you plan to climb down into a gully or a cliff or something is to cover as much of the glass on your camera as you possibly can. Cover anything that can possibly break if it just touches one of these sides. Cover the front of your lens with a lens cap, cover the, uh, the screen of your camera, cover anything and all things that you can to make sure that as you're climbing down here, your main worry is going to be where your feet are going to go, where you're going to land, and not where your camera's going to land. Okay, I think I found a route into this where I'm not going to need to climb down very far. Just off to the side, there's a bit of a path in and a big tuft of earth right in the center. Hopefully I can do that because this other route, I don't know that I would make it back out. So the Next hill over from this location is called Rattlesnake Point. And uh, I don't think that that's entirely just over in that location. I think that's something I might encounter here. So I'm gonna work really quickly, get my camera set up, wait for this light and uh, take this photo as fast as I can. Well, 
that was a very interesting scene to capture, very high dynamic range. What I mean by that is the dark's very dark, the light very light. So challenging to capture in one photo. I needed a bracket and I did quite a few number of exposures. Hopefully I have all that I need in order to make that a good photo. All right, well, I saw some trilliums. Um, actually, I saw some trilliums just out of the corner of my eye. There was some white flowers where I didn't expect them to be. So I took a little detour off to a path that I wasn't really planning on going on. But as I came closer to these trilliums, I found they all look a little bit sad, actually. They're, they're just kind of drooping over. And when you want to take a picture of a beautiful flower, you want it vibrant, you want it, you know, sticking up perfectly. So I don't know that these are the ones that I'm going to take a photo of, but, uh, but yeah, the uh, trilliums are out there somewhere. I'm going to be able to find them somewhere. Well, I think this particular outing was a bust. I did get a couple of okay photos and I really got a chance to use this lens. So in that case, uh, it was a great success, wonderful success. But the, uh, the photos I think to take home, really not very successful. I think maybe the, uh, the weather in Ontario over the past few weeks has probably contributed to this because what I saw in the greenery and the flowers was that they just looked bewildered, which, uh, which makes a lot of sense. We had, uh, you know, mid-April, there was a huge temperature spike, right? 25, 26 degrees, and uh, I think that caused everything to get confused and start coming out to grow. Um, and while it didn't freeze entirely, it went down to, you know, plus three, plus five for a couple of weeks, very rainy. So I think these plants, uh, you know, did their best to grow as much as they could, but uh, then were met with uh, poor temperatures, not a lot of sunlight. So I think what that means is uh, it's just another chance to come back. Some other time will probably make this better, maybe in a week, maybe in two, and, uh, you know, come back to this location, search for these trilliums, hopefully get a beautiful field of trilliums with a couple of nice strong trees in the background. Until then, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.